Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this one, we're going to do a, literally a complete walkthrough of the first paper of the Key Stage 1 Arithmetic. So that's the one you see right on the screen right here. Yeah? We're basically going to cover all of this literally today. So guys, all I recommend is that all you have to do is get your paper out and we're going to answer all 25 questions. Yeah, So let's do this as a team. Now I'm going to roll right in. So before we start, there's always a practice question. So let's do this together. So the first one says, what is 2 plus 5? Well, very easy. You start at 5 and you add 2 more. So you guys should be at 7. And that should be the first answer. Now, this is just a practice question, so it doesn't really count, but that's how we do it. Yeah? So let's begin with number 1. Now, what I want you guys to do is, of course, if you can do this fast, just do it. And we'll catch up together. But for everyone else, try and follow through the best you can. So next one, number 1. 9 take away 3. Well, you start at 9 and you go back by 3, so you should be at 6. For the next one, 5 plus 10 plus 5. So all you have to do is start the bigger number 10, add 5 more, you get 15. And then add another 5, you should get 20. Nice. Next one, 18 take away 6. So start from 18 or start from 8, go 6 back. 8 take away 6 is 2. So 18 take away 6 should be 12. Remember, just stick the 1 in front, yeah? Should be nice and 12. Next one, 10 times 10. This is easy when it comes to multiplication, guys. Just stick a 0 at the end. So 10 times 10 should give us 100. All right. 80 take away 10. Just go back by 10. So if, you, if you're at 80, going back by 10, you should be at 70. Okay. 5 plus 32. Start the bigger number. So 32, add 5 more. Well, easy way to do it. Start at 2, add 5 more, you get 7. So 32, add 5 should be 37. Oops, 37. Don't worry about the handwriting, guys. In your, in your, as long as you write, you know, kneeling correctly, it should be fine. I'm doing this on my phone, so that's why it looks like that. Next one, 5 times 6. So we should know our 5 times table. So 5 times 6, start at 5, you've got 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30. So, and that's five lots of six. So, 30. Next one, 98 plus four. Start at a bigger number and add four more. So, it should be at 98, should be 99, 100, 101, 102. Okay, that's it, 102. Oops, that does not look like 102, but make sure it's clear. 102, yeah? <laughs> wow, that looks kind of funny. Next one, 22 at 22. This is just basically double 22. So if you double 2, you get 4. If you double 22, you should get 44. So it should look like this. 4 and another 4. So that's 44. Next one, guys. Something at 8 gives you 12. Well, nice trick. Just do 12 take away 8. Or start 8 and count up to 12. If you count up from 8, you should, you should start from 9. So it should be 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 4 more added on. So it should be 8 plus 4 gives us 12 okay next one 68 add 20 add two tens. so 68 add two tens should be 78 then 88 nice so i like these questions not too bad 7 plus 84 start 84 add 7 more and you'll realize that if you add 7 more you should get 85 86 87 88 89 90 and add one more 91 it helps if you use your fingers, guys, if you're not 100% sure. Or just take your time. Next one, 14 divided by 2. That just means when you divide by 2, it just means you're halving. So half of 14, we should know, is 7. Okay. 64 take away 11. Well, firstly, let's take 10 away. 64 take away 10 should give us 54. And take away 1 away from 54, we should get 53. That's it, 53. So 39 take away 20, you drop two tens, so it should be 29, then 19. So just literally go down from the tens column twice. All right, cool. Let's move on to the next one. So for this one, 54 take away 8, what I would do, I would take away 4 first, because 54 take away 4 is 50, and then you take away another 4, which will give us 46. That's basically take away 8, so your answer should be 46. There's a couple ways to do this, guys, but that's the way I like to do it. Next one, 40 divided by 10. Every time you divide by 10, just knock out the zero. Or just count how many 10s go into 40. Well, you realize you've got 10, 20, 
30, 40. So it goes four times. So the answer should be four. Okay. Next one, 23 add 37. This is, this is a number bonds question. We need to know that if we partition it, 20 plus the 30 gives us 50. And then we've got 3 plus 7 gives us 10. And adding these two numbers together, you should get 60. That's the easy way to do it, yeah? That's a very easy way to do it. Next one, 19 take away 5. So if you've got an empty box and left, ignore it. 19 take away 5, we should know, is just 14. So the answer should be 14. Cool? That should always, remember, I'm, I'm just human, so I might make mistakes too, guys, yeah? That's why it's up to you guys to double check too with me. Next one, number 20, a quarter of 8. Quarter just means you're halving twice. Well, if you half eight, you get four. If you half four again, you get two. So the answer is two. Next one, half of 90. Ooh, that's a big one. Well, nice little trick for this one. What you can do is firstly, firstly half the numbers closest to it. So I'll say, hmm, what's half of 80? Half of 80 is 40. And then half of 10 is five. So you've got to pick numbers close to 90. In this case, 40 plus five is 45. 100 take away something gives us 52. So what we can do, first you do 100 take away 50, so partition. 100 take away 50 is 50. And then we take away two more, you should get 48. And that's the answer guys, 48. And lastly, a couple more to go. Two quarters of 36. Now that's a smart one. Two quarters is the same as halving. So we need to know what half of 36 is. Well, half of 36 if you're not sure what half of 36 is, we need to know what half of 30 is. Half of 30 is 15. And then half of 6 is 3. So adding these two numbers together, 15 plus 3 should give us 18. And that's what they want. Half of 36 is 18. Lastly, 62 take away 54. This is a bit of a smart one because they want you to start with a big one. So what I would do, I would do 62 take away 50 first because that's easier. 62 take away 50, so count back 5 tens. So if you count back 5 tens, you should be at 12. And then if you take away 4 more, you should get 8. So the answer is 8. Now, here comes the last one. Already, only 8 minutes in, almost done. Now, 73 take away 19. Now, there's a two ways to do this, but I'll do the easier way because it's just it's a mental problem. Let's just take away 10 first because that's how, how we've been doing this. So 73 take away the 10 will give us 63. And you just go back by 9, okay? If you go back by 9, if you, if you take your time, you should land at 54. And that's the answer, guys. The answer for this one should be 54. And that's it, guys. You know, I hope this video helped. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Give me a like or thumbs up. Share with your friends and let me know how it goes. Other than that, guys, I shall see you guys in the next video. Take care.